Hey, Jordy. All right, so let's work this out. So you have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, right? So essentially to find C, I need to take the square root of A squared plus B squared, right? And so that means I'm taking the square root of 18 squared plus 35 squared, right? And then to, to kind of skip steps, I'm just going to put it in my calculator. So 18 squared plus 35 squared will give me 1549, what you got from that solver, right? Well, now, most of the time, it's going to be about what it's congruent to, right? So if I square root 1549, I end up with 339.3573, right? 3731, right? So this is the whole, I mean, seven. All right, this is the whole number. So generally, if you pay attention to it, you could Google it, and it's going to say 39.3. .3. However, this 5 here is going to make this a 4, right? So let's say, for instance, I put in 39.4. Let's see what happens. It's going to tell me I got it incorrect. And so that means we need more decimal places. So I usually go to the first decimal that, or the last decimal, that's less than five or the first decimal that's less than five after my first decimal. So I won't stop here. I usually will stop here. So I'm going to put in 3.39.357 because I know that that three is not going to increase that seven. And then I'm going to hit enter and see what happens. And they say it's the correct answer. And you see on the screen, they have 39.3573. So generally what happens is, when you're putting in this information and putting in these answers, just make sure it's at least two to three decimal places. And if they're telling you that that is incorrect, add more decimal places to it. Um, and then you'll have your answer. And you see here, they say it's congruent to 39.3573. Hope this helps.